system or pause management system where you can manage your multiple shop and multiple store like electronics and mobile shop supermarket restaurant pharmacy and it has multiple module with the WooCommerce module you can easily integrate any WooCommerce storage on this pause system and you can use this system for your any business so in this video I will show you how to set up this system on your server and how to buy domain and web hosting I will show you a step by step so from the business panel you can manage your multiple business and you can use multiple users for your business you can add your cashier and you can admin super admin and multiple roles from the uh, roles section you can give them any permission and if you add a cashier they can easily use this post system and manage your sale from the post system from the contact section you can add multiple contacts and multiple customer you can store your customer information or supplier information and you can store your uh, product from the product section then you can see your product list from the product list section or you can add your new product from here so i will show you a step by step how to add new product and how to manage this section and then you can add purchase so if you purchase any product for your store you can easily add your purchase list from here then you can easily sell your product and you can use the add sale system you can type your customer information customer phone number and customer details then you can select everything from here and you can also use the pause system so from the pause system you can type your cash in hand you can also make sale and manage customer from here and also you can add new product from the pause panel and you can manage everything and you can easily integrate your card payment multiple pay cash payment and everything and then stock transfer so if you have multiple store on this system you can easily transfer your uh, product store one store to another store or one location to another location then you can easily adjust your stock if damage your product or you can lose your product you can easily adjust your stock from here then you can list your all expenses from here and you can add your expenses and you can type expense information then you can see your report from here profit loss report and purchase and sale report tax report and all of report you can easily monitoring from here so i will show you step by step how to use this system and how to manage settings and how to set your business information and how you can add your multiple business location how you can manage everything and it has you can come to your website and they can easily register on your website and they can open their business and they can manage their business from your website or from the web application so next i want to show you how to add new products on your product section and how to configure it so first of all we need to add categories and units and some variations uh, for variable products so i will show you how to work this process just click on categories and add your own business categories uh, over here and you can type category code over here so this is optional click on save and we have added this category and you can add multiple or unlimited categories from here and you can add a sub taxonomy select your parent category so i have added this sub category then and you can add brands from here like click on add then units so by default we have got uh, pieces uh, one unit and you can add multiple unit and if you wanna add kilogram uh, this is name and you can type short name like kg then you can allow and disallow decimal or if you wanna allow and you can select yes okay and that's it and go to your variations and add some variation like color then click on add and you can type your variation name like color so you can type your product color red blue and add multiple variation and you can add size okay so you can add multiple variation from here and then i want to add a new product go to product section and click on add product so you can add your business related product for example i want to add this mobile phone for mobile phone store 
and type SKU or short code then you can select barcode type you can select your different of barcode type from here then select units so upon units is pieces and we wanna select brand so our brand is Xiaomi you can add multiple brand then you can select your uh, product category and select your subcategory and add business location so you can select your multiple business location if you have then you can check this option manage X stock and our product or alert quantities if this product is stock is true you will get a new alert then upload your product image and type some product description okay and next you can upload the product browser and enable product description or IMA serial number so this is our mobile phone product uh, every mobile phone has IME or serial number if you enable this option you will able to add IME serial number on your description box while you selling any product from post system type OID then I scroll down and as you can see we have got another option single product or you can add product variation for example if you have multiple variation of this uh, product red color blue color or another color you can easily select your variation so select color from the variation option then select red and this is our red color and then select your uh, price for red color so i have typed this product price then type your profit margin in this field you can add multiple variation easily upload your product variation image finally click on save and as you can see we have added our product and variation product our current stock is zero so how to adjust your stock let's click on actions and as you can see we have got add or edit opening a stock just click on it then type product stock quantity so we have 200 pieces of red color and we have 50 pieces of blue color then click on save and as you can see our current stock is 250 pieces next i want to show you how to sell any product using the pause system just go to sales and click on pause and as you can see we have got our pause system so you can select your uh, customer name or you can add your new customer from here so you can add customer information then save the customer and then you can search your product name or you can search by SKO or scan by barcode okay or you can add your product from here click on plus icon and you can type your product name description and uh, all of product option from here from our dashboard okay so you can select any product from here and as you can see we have got a uh, unit price and you can type discount price uh, fixed or percentage and you can uh, type product IMEA uh, for example this is my product IME and close this option and you can select your payment method so customer can pay you uh, by card so you can type your card number and type your card holder or customer name i am typing uh, demo card number and click on uh, finalize payment so as you can see we have got an invoice okay so you can easily print the invoice from your dashboard or you can easily save this invoice and you can also add cashier for your uh, POS system or you can add multiple user from the user management system go to user management and click on roles and you can add multiple roles uh, for admin cashier or you can add another roles click on add so you can add uh, manager role and then you can select permission for this role so i wanna select uh, customer select view or uh, own customer select view all customer then you can select uh, it for product view product add product and they can edit new product so following the same process you can give any access for this user or for this role then click on save and as you can see we have added a new role so i want to add new cashier user to manage our post system just go to user and click on add and type your cashier information then you can add role and permission uh, allow login just uh, type this cashier username so you can provide this password or username to your cashier then select 
cashier role then access location i wanna give this permission for this business location then you can give them sales commission type your percent of commission and next you can add more information of this user birthday gender and add some bio then click on save and then i wanna log in this cashier account type cashier login username and cashier password and as you can see we have got our selling system or post system for example our caching hand zero and click on open register and as you can see our cashier can access only this post system so you can easily manage your users from the user management system and then you can configure some settings from the settings option click on settings then click on business settings you can configure your business name and change your business name business name user and you can upload your business logo from here and type your default profit percent set your default profit percent or margin over here and select your currency symbol before amount or after amount and also you can select your time zone from here and you can manage everything and date format time format and uh, time format 12 hour uh, 24 hour then you can select your transaction precision from here if you select three and click on update and you will get three numbers after the dot so you can set it from here then you can configure your text then click on products and as you can see we have got some options you can type your sku prefix and you can select default product unit from here and you can enable disable some uh, methods from here then you can add warranty product and enable rack system and as you can see we have got lots of functionalities and features so you can easily enable and disable these features uh, from this dashboard the payment and you can add uh, payment system for your pause skin and select your uh, payment uh, method or payment system for sale and then you can uh, configure your email settings or smtp mail deliver for this business so if you have a multiple business you can configure SMTP for your particular business so you can type your SMTP host so I have already shown how to configure SMTP so you can paste your SMTP hosts and SMTP details over here then you can active and deactive reward points from here and you can active some module for this business account so every user can active and deactive these modules for their business and they can add or enable booking system and they have kitchen or restaurant they can active this module also and also they can enable subscription system if they have subscription products so just active this module and click on update settings and as you can see we have got kitchen system or booking system so your users can add a booking system for their business and they can easily add kitchen system and business location you can add multiple business location from here or your users can add multiple business location go to invoice settings you can uh, configure your invoice format and change uh, prefix for your invoice and then barcode settings you can add your new barcode settings from here and configure your barcode from here you can earn from this web application by two steps First one you can earn from Google Adsense account and 